Hello, Pisces. I do not have my earbuds today. So if you do not have earbuds yourself, I would tell you to turn the volume way up um, until you can hear. And then if there are any ads or anything like that, simply hit the mute button or turn the volume down until the video resumes. This message is coming to you in a quite um, it might feel a little bit shocking way. Some things are about to come to light. And I say that because the very first card from the Fallen Angel deck by Nigel Suckling is number 61, Enlightenment. This could have Aquarian energy tied to it with the stars all around it or fire energy such as Aries, Leo, Sagittarius does not have to. But there's something here where you're learning the truth. This could involve also a Leo for some of you, which, you know, that is a fire sign because there's a lion in the next card. Somebody could be lying as well because I'm seeing honesty. There's a change here. So there's divine timing and then there's a change. Something comes out about somebody trying to hold someone else back. This could be a Leo trying to hold you back. This could be um, you trying to hold a child back. Somebody could be trying to hold on to their childhood. That could be another thing or something like that. There's a sense of desperation that I'm seeing here. It's like there's somebody who's wanting to like explore the world, to get out and do things. And then there's this other person who is sad and is trying to hold them back, whatever this is. So there may be some communication that comes into you that makes you reevaluate what you thought that you wanted. The alarm bells are going off in this reading, hardcore. Storms are brewing. Somebody may be speaking up about how someone was trying to hold someone back. Or hold on to someone. It could be something like that. So you're going to be reevaluating this next chapter of your life because You've been severely limited because you were lied to or because you lied to someone else. So you're going to have to choose if this is going to be a new beginning or an ending. That's the basic gist of what the Oracle cards are saying. So for some of you, that will be the end of your reading. For others, it will just be the tarot cards. And then for others, it may be both, okay? Something is telling me in my gut that you know that something is coming here. Could involve children because I see two children within the Oracle cards here. It looks like children and a mother Maybe, potentially, does not have to be. Could also be a father. All right, so, and I'm reading these a little bit different because I see a particular storyline. So there's this person here. This person may have um, 
how do I explain this? Somebody who charges forward like really fast, um, but they're looking towards the past position. Okay, so that's the first thing. So they may be charging forward or they may be speaking, you know, like moving forward fast, but they're still looking back at the past. This could be a Gemini, a Virgo, Scorpio, another Pisces, or an Aries. Now, keep in mind, it may not be any of those signs, but those are the ones that are showing up. So this person offered a choice of some sort, but they did not play fair. And for most of you, this has to do with love with the lover's card being present. They may have offered you a choice, but what I'm seeing is it may have been that you were actually bullied into making the choice or you were lied to so that you would make a choice, something like that. Because this person wanted to win at all costs. They got a new beginning. But because of a deception, they walked away. This person now has a guilty conscience. There could have been staged events. This person's feeling very shaky. They're trying to improve a situation, maybe even communicate with you that they have anxiety and they're feeling stuck. But they took a risk because of a deception to walk away from you. So for whatever that means, especially if you're dealing with a Gemini in the diagonal, I can see Gemini deceived Pisces. So, or whoever this person is who takes on these characteristics. This person, it looks like, deceived you into offering to walk away in some cases. And you took the risk. So when you did this, an Aries potentially or somebody with those qualities made a choice that involved this Gemini type character. So they have a guilty conscience and they may have someone else here. It could be them or it could be someone else that wants to win at all costs. So um, I guess you can take that however you want to take it. But if this person, whoever this is, whatever sign they are, if they make an offer to you, it's going to be a very small offer. It may not be a fair offer. Because of this deception, like I said, there's some kind of deception that's going on here, some sort of secrets. They may be regretting that they walked away. But they were trying to turn their back on this deception because of the guilty conscience. For some, there could have been, I'm just going to say for some, now that's not going to be for everybody. There could have been some like texting with other people kind of thing or some sort of thing like that. 
There also could be a third party involved for some. This person also may feel as if they're being watched. So they're not really sure how to handle the situation. So they're keeping it in limbo. And they took this risk, like I said, because of this deception. It could be they took this risk so that you would be deceived into walking away. It could be anything like that. But I'm going to look <clears throat> at the bottom of the Oracle deck. Yeah, you were seduced into a third party situation um, for some of you. There could also be some sort of new beginning or ending um, communication here. I'm not really sure what this is about. Anyways, let's see what's at the bottom of the tarot deck. Hmm, somebody's making an offer and they're doing it quickly. But they're doing it in order to control a choice. Because either they're confident about a tower moment or because they're becoming single and there's a tower moment. So, for whatever that means, um, I would just tell you, whoever it is that you're dealing with, because of the deception card, because of the bullying card, because of the guilty conscience card, the, the risks card, the fast talker, the charging forward, that kind of stuff, be very careful of anyone that you're dealing with this week. Be very careful. For some of you, this could be a friend. A friend could tell you something here. Maybe they made a new discovery or you discover something about a friend. Whatever it is, it looks like it results in a change in the way that you communicate with potentially. All right, guys. So if this reading resonates with you, please take the time to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it and also to subscribe to my channel because the more people that subscribe to the channel, the more ad revenue comes through. And with more ad revenue, I'm able to buy better lighting, um, a better phone, the things that I need to bring forth a better production for these videos. Thanks guys. Bye.